Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Um, for today, or for this video, I decided I was going to organize all of my BTS binders, as you can see I have three different ones, into just one large binder that I got off of Amazon. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a while, so when I just up and bought the binders, I thought, why not, you know, put it up as a YouTube video? So, um, I have the binders, so the two large binders. I'm hoping I can put all of it in just one of the, I got a four inch binder, so it's quite big. So I'm gonna try my best to just use one of those binders. But first I wanted to take out all the pages in each of the binders and just try to organize them a bit better into that one binder so that it's not so difficult for me to have to, you know, try to go to three different binders to look at photo cards I have. So this one, now this binder was like a bunch of extras plus Japanese album photo cards and maybe some group photo cards. So ooh, I'm messing up the sleeves already. So it's kind of a weird binder. I just basically had it as an extra binder. So I'm gonna leave these off to the side here. And so these were the two postcards that I got from getting the Love Yourself Japan DVD off of the Japanese fan club. So that's gonna go in there. Now this, these are the album photo cards. Um, for dark and oh, for school love affair, sorry, but um, I don't have pages that properly fit them, so I had to actually leave them in. As you can see, the top loader that um, the seller sent to me. So they've been in this binder for ages because I still have not gotten the pages for it yet. I'm hoping to get it soon, but that's basically been on the back burner. So. I'll probably just tuck that into one of the sleeves in the binder. Um, so this was just for the fifth muster. It's like a little placeholder. Yeah, it's just a random one. So first binder taken care of. I'm probably not gonna throw these binders out. I could always use them for school, but okay. So in my first video um, for like an introduction to my collection, you might've seen this binder. Now, I love this binder, I really do. I just don't know what I'll use it for um, after I move everything. So as you can see, I turned this into my DVD slash album photo card collection. So it just has all of you know the DVD photo cards I own first and then the album photo cards. So huh. I might now, I might put these um, kind of sandwiched in between the last binder I just opened or the latest one I just opened and then the one I haven't touched yet. The binder that I haven't touched yet, so this binder right here, I use for rare photo cards slash tour photo cards. So I'm thinking maybe I could put that first in the large binder, then this second, and then the stuff from the third binder last. So I'll just start taking these out. Now I want the DVD photo cards first, so I'm just gonna start pulling these out carefully. Now this is a binder that I have the most pages in, so I don't wanna start just randomly pulling out the pages because it might damage the photo cards. This might also, you know, maybe count as an updated photo card collection. <laughs> I still have a lot of placeholders for things that I'm still looking for or things that are on the way right now. You know, obviously there are a lot of delays, so I've just been patiently waiting for things to arrive. So. I think we're almost there. Now my sets aren't 100% um, complete. I've kind of been slowly collecting the album photo cards rather than rushing um, to 
get them all especially for map of the soul seven seeing as though the photo cards are going for a lot right now it's crazy how much people are pricing them so i thought i might as well wait um until hopefully the prices drop maybe like down to normal if you would call it normal i feel like Ugh, nothing more than $15 per card is more reasonable, but a lot of people have been pricing these photo cards at like $20 to $25 each, which to me is just crazy. Okay, now as you can see, I still have a bunch of extra binder sleeves, so I'm going to leave them in here just in case I have to use them. Um, but for the most part, all of the ones that I'm using, if you can see, that's it. Um, I'm going to gently flip over. God, I don't like doing this. Ooh. Oh god. Almost knocked you guys over. And set carefully right here. Off to the side. There we go. Success. Close the binder. Again, love this binder, but... I don't know. It's so difficult to have to go to like three different binders just to see just to see stuff that I have. Okay, now last binder is gonna be rare slash tour photo cards. So I want the rare stuff first, and then the tour stuff after it. So we're gonna start pulling out these stuff first. As you can see. Kobe's Begin Set, almost complete. I just have to look for number seven. I joined an auction and um, surprisingly enough, I found one of the two photo cards I was missing from this set. So I found number two and I was so excited. Honestly, this set is probably my favorite. It's just the cutest set ever. Okay, so I'll keep pulling out more. And again, my sets are by far not very complete. So, yeah. I'm not really rushing to collect broadcast cards, to be honest. I have a lot of Hobies more than I do of um, Jimin's. Actually, I don't even... Wow, I don't even have any of Jimin's. A lot of tour photo cards I have as well for sets, they're not complete. Um, I'm not really in a rush to get them. If I'm lucky enough to find good deals, I may get them. Like, um, so for this page, I'll take it out. Oh, wait. No, it's the other page. Okay. So for this page, as you can see from my placeholder, I found Hosok's Wings version 2 set, um, from an auction going for a really good price. So I put an offer for it and I actually managed to win. So I'm going to be getting that set soon. So I have the page ready for it, for whenever it comes. And like I was saying, so like Muster, Happy Every After photo cards, I don't necessarily have all of them. Wings Tour, I don't necessarily have all of them. Um, it's only after like Love Yourself Tour that I really start getting more complete sets. So I organized it so that it was Jimin, then Hosok sets from both like concerts. So then we have Love Yourself Japan. And Speak Yourself, Japan. And then some random, you know, photo cards. Maybe from like ID tags or passport cases, just stuff like that. And obviously an incomplete, um, what was it? I think fifth, fifth muster? Yeah, incomplete fifth muster Jimin set. I haven't been able to find his set, unfortunately. I think it's... Probably for me, probably the rarest one. Um, his guestbook card set, almost done. I'm just missing number two. Um, obviously, you can see here, Hosok set is complete, which I'm really happy about. This is another cute set, of course. And as well as Hosok, so I don't have all of his guestbook cards. I'm still missing number two. Um... So for their fan meeting photo cards, 
So I have almost all of them. Um, I'm just missing two of Jimin's. And I'm missing three of Hosok's as well. So just a little bit more than Jimin's. And then here are some of the um, random photo cards I pulled of other members from sets I bought. So I bought the fan meeting photo cards directly from the Japan fan club. So I did get sets rather than just member sets. And then an almost complete speak yourself. Um, yeah, speak yourself final Jimin set. Just missing number six. Yeah, number six. Hosok set though is now complete. The lovely set. I finished it a couple days back, I think, actually. I finally, I traded someone for the last photo card I needed. And uh, this is just a random kind of page. Another pretty random page. I'm planning on keeping Hosok and Jimin's and I was either selling or trading the other ones. Now, um, Jimin's set is oh, obviously not complete. I'm still missing his um, number one of four, but I do have a unit one and I believe I still have, yeah, I still have Namjoon's four of four. I just put it like behind the unit one. Like it's right there. So that's gonna go off to the side and then the stuff for this binder is now taken out. I'm uh, also going to be careful for these. Ugh. God, I hate flipping them over. Oh! Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so there we go. Everything is now out of the three binders, finally. So... Oh my god. I have stuff falling over in the background, guys. Okay, so I'm going to bring over the large binder, and then we'll start organizing all of this, as you can see, into the one binder. Okay, so here is the large binder that I got from Amazon. I'm really hoping that everything manages to fit in it. It is a pretty large binder. I got a four inch binder. It was a pretty good deal. Um, I think it was around like $20 Canadian for two of these large four inch binders. So I'm hoping that because of its size, it manages to fit everything in it. Um, so I figured maybe staying true to how I had them organized in the original binders, I might as well just like fill them in going like the opposite direction rather than having to like flip this whole stack of, of um, pages into the binder which oh my god this is so hard open okay now I know don't open it from here open it from the bottom little thing okay so I know this is a pretty like you know empty page but I only decided to collect Hosok and Jimin's Wings um, concept book, little like hologram photo cards. I'm not really looking for the other members. Ooh, let's see if it fits. I'm just hoping that it's not so awkward to have to like flip through, seeing as though it is a rather large binder. So, let's see how this works. Oh, it might go down too low. Yeah, see, so it's already getting kind of stuck as I'm moving them. Now, this is a, another, like, random page I really like. Just more of Hosok's random rare photo cards and things like that. For anything that I have of both Jimin and Hosok that are DVDs or rare photo cards, I have them in six pocket page, six pocket page six pocket pages it's a tongue twister so that i know um which sets i have completed of both members and which i don't so let's 
try to carefully put each of the pages in because I don't want them to pull. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna move it further off to the side so that way I can center this a little bit more. Now it does have little marks on it, but I think it's just like dirt and stuff like that. I can like easily wipe off. Another page I really like. Just random photo cards. I have both Jim and Hosoks of. So put that here. Oh, that went in nicely, thankfully. Another set I love. Honestly, the Japanese fan club renewal photo cards from the venues are just so pretty. The effects are just amazing on them. So I really like the fact that I was able to find both Hosoks and Jimin's for each of them. I had to exercise a lot, a lot of patience to be able to find Jimin's fifth month, fifth. Yeah, I think it was his fifth mustard Japanese renewal photo card because they were being priced for so much and I just didn't want to have to spend so much money for it. I think um, it was going for like over $150, which to me is this a kind of a little bit crazy for it. So I managed to just wait and wait and wait and found his going for a really good price. Okay, they're starting to go in a lot smoother now. This is another cute set I love. I'm, I hope I can finish it, but again, I'm not really in a rush to. I'm gonna try my best to find Jimin's as well, but I don't know if I wanna wait just to find a complete set that someone is selling or, you know, try trading and buying individual photo cards. Sometimes I feel buying full sets are just more convenient, but I don't know. It's just... Like, you never really know with this stuff if it's, you know, what's more comfortable for you to do. Like, do you want to trade other people for the photo cards? Or do you want to just buy complete sets right off the bat? So again, empty page for Hosoks Wings Tour version 2 set. That will soon be on the way, including another really special... Ooh, almost knocked you guys over again really special um, photo card that I am so glad I won from that auction because I don't know, I'm so happy that I got it. Okay, I might have to, if you don't like this, don't look, but I have to stretch this page a little bit because it's starting to kind of crinkle over there. I do have some weird pages um, that don't necessarily fit like the three ring binders properly so it kind of starts to like if you can see that wrinkle but i'm trying my best you know to make it work pages like this i love if you start collecting i would recommend getting ultra pro, ultra pro pocket sleeves um or pocket pages they're probably the best they fit um photo cards really nicely and don't tend to like crinkle if you put the photo card in a sleeve, which I would really recommend doing. If you start collecting, the best thing to do is not just automatically put the photo card straight into the page, but to give it more protection in case something were to happen, like you spilled something on your binder, you know, knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen, but the sleeve that you place the photo card in and then put in the page will hopefully protect it from getting damaged in cases like that if it was to happen now with the tour photo cards this page um 
obviously they're not in sleeves the pages fit them perfectly but if i was to put the photo cards in sleeves they would not be able to fit here so i've seen some people you know finding um regular like um, eight pocket pages but they're vertical rather than horizontal like i have these ones in so it's really up to you and your preference if you prefer the eight pocket pages to be vertical or horizontal it you know just whatever people prefer i just always found it was more convenient to have the vertical eight pocket pages i mean the the horizontal ones sorry i mean i know to some people you have to kind of like flip the binder to be able to see the set like this because in a binder you would see it like this essentially so i don't really mind seeing it that way Still have a lot to put in here so i'm hoping this doesn't run out of space and i'm just kind of worried about how comfortably the sleeves would be able to flip over given that this is a rather large binder um it seems like the larger the rings the um more difficult it is for the pages to possibly flip over so i just don't want the photo cards to get damaged if that's the case so we're down to tour photo cards right now so it's almost the end of the first binder now i'm just doing it one by one so that it lessens the risk of you know damaging either the pages which are by the way pretty expensive or the photo cards which are obviously more expensive so we're gonna do this carefully and keep going until every sleeve is in this binder that way it's more convenient i'll go down from having three separate binders of bts photo cards down to just one Oh, just knocked you guys over again. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm. Well, we're less than less than halfway. So the rings are still not completely covered, which is good. I'm hoping it stays that way. I may just have to kind of like press those down a little bit. Okay, now we're down to DVD photo cards, so the start of the second binder. Just want to keep carefully putting them in. Oh, the Love Yourself poster, so I have both Hosok and Jimin's. Fit that carefully. Now with this last sleeve and the binder, we're into DVD photo, uh, sorry, album photo cards. So from Or You Late 2 to um, You Never Walk Alone. Just have to keep carefully fitting them in. Sorry if I stayed quiet for too long. It's actually really satisfying to just, you know, pick them up and put them in a new binder. Okay, I think we just about hit halfway now, so... Um, okay, let's see what happens. We're still not completely done. I still have to put the album photo cards in, as well as the... 
random miscellaneous photo cards I had in that first binder I pulled all those the pages out of. Still have a lot of room, which is really good. Just want to keep carefully pushing this down. And I'll keep going. So I'm down to the answer set now. Oh. Well, there went that note. Let's put this in and then I'm gonna grab the note and kind of stuff it back. still have a um, pretty good amount of space. I'm just worried because I don't I really don't want to have to use like two massive binders but I know there's always a lot more to collect so one large binder might turn into two large binders soon enough. Okay. Now the notes page we just have to be careful about um it doesn't fit it as comfortably as i would like the notes to fit the page so they might kind of slide out from the top so i just have to be careful when putting it in and now we're to persona i think it might actually fit everything Yeah, it's still fitting the pages comfortably, so the binder is not, you know, roughing the pages or anything. my version 2 page. Okay, almost done and we still have plenty of room which is good. the notes for this page as well so they don't slide out the top. Okay now this um hmm. I'll leave off to the side for now so that I can just tuck it. They have these kind of like hidden pocket things in the back and the front. So I'm gonna wait until all the sleeves are in the binder to just tuck them in the front so that way they don't get damaged being in the back. And then again, we have the Love Yourself Japan postcards from the DVD. As you can see, they had a tough time fitting into the binder, so I had to kind of break one of the holes. 
So we'll put those in carefully as well. Now we're down to the last binder, technically the first binder I pulled all the pages from. Okay, just a couple more left and then we're done. Last page going in the binder. it fits okay, let's just get that closed and we'll start flipping back through them okay. now I technically still do have one binder but it's a bunch of um like miscellaneous concert merch and things like that that I just didn't want to oh god I'm getting caught on the binder thing that I just didn't want to have to pull out it's a pretty large binder um for the concert merch that I have oh no so this is the only thing I do not like is when I'm pulling back a bunch of sleeves and it gets caught on the ring Maybe I should start going one by one now so that they don't get damaged. Well, at least it's an improvement. I went down from basically four binders to two. Ooh, good. So this is the only issue is it's getting caught again. all the way back almost okay and we'll carefully push them back until they're down okay going good thankfully it would just be so much more convenient this way now because i can just flip through to look through whatever i have let me just fix that because it kind of looks like it's about to pop out so now I don't have to go to like different binders just to get the album photo cards and the DVD photo cards and the tour photo cards and stuff like that. And they're nicely ordered. Now as soon as I start getting more complete sets, um, I'll be able to like organize them one after the other for Jim and Hulsuk sets, which I honestly prefer. I just think it looks nicer that way when I have um, them organized so that I can see I have both of Jimin and Hosok's photo cards rather than having one binder of like Hosok's photo cards and then a separate binder of Jimin's photo cards. Okay, and we're almost to the front. Oh wow, I already feel this binder's gonna be heavy. Ooh, the page is starting to resist a little bit. Okay, almost there. And with the last page, we're to the front of the binder. Okay, let me just tuck these back right over here. There we go. And we're good. With that, this binder is 
Oh, officially full. Oh my God, look at all that stuff. You know, oh, oh God. And I knocked you guys over again. You know, you never really realize it when you have everything separated into different binders, but seeing it all in one is like, wow, I have a lot of stuff, huh? Oh my God. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this video now. I will think of more ideas for videos I can film and hopefully I'll be back with a new video soon. But thank you guys so much for watching and leave a comment if you have a question or anything like that. I'd be happy to reply and yeah, bye!